Hello everybody, welcome back to Comfort Food Gaming plays Banjo and Kazooie. Yes. You gotta remember how to play the use the controls because I've been <laughs> playing other games recently. So welcome everybody. Welcome. It's important that I tell you, Tristan, that uh, something that has been on my mind yes. is that I recently was on Tumblr. Yes. Um and came across a post um that people um, are you familiar with the Tumblr account, One Time I Dreamt? Yes. Um, I've, you showed me some of their stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's funny things. It's a submission blog. <clears throat> well, it's run by a person who occasionally makes, um, their own posts, but in general, it's a submission blog where people submit stories of one time I dreamt this crazy or otherwise funny thing that happened in the dream. But the format is that because the username is one time I dreamt, uh, usually people. Oh my gosh. It's Jinxy. You're, you're tickling his nose? Tickling his nose. It's stuffed. It's a little stuffy. Come on. Huh. <clears throat> anyway, welcome to Gobi Valley. <laughs> this place um, is great music. Sorry, I got distracted by you um, shoving eggs up the nose of a sphinx thing. Yeah, that's normal. Um, I was, what was I talking about? One time I dreamt? <coughs> yes. Oh, the format, when someone submits a story uh, about their dream, they typically don't say this is that a dream. this is a dream Yeah, or one time I dreamt because that's in the username. So if you're not paying attention to the username of the post that you're seeing, <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes you'll start reading a post about like, oh man, this crazy thing happened, and then you, I shot you a realize, guy. yeah, like um, and then you realize, oh, it's one time I dreamt, got it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's good. Anyway, someone <coughs> dreamt that people on Tumblr were drawing Perry the platypus as a human. Uh, that there was some sort of uh, design made of Perry the platypus as a human. I'm pretty and, sure that's uh, happened. Uh, well, yeah, so the the person that submitted the dream that I read said one time I dreamt that people, you know, were, it was popular to draw Perry the Platypus as a human and to ship him with Dr. Doofenshmirtz. I think and that's then, just actual fact. And, but then that Disney canonized the design and made a, like, film, uh, like oh a TV gosh. film involving Perry the Platypus marrying Dr. Doofenshmirtz. That's awesome. Anyway. Was that just on your mind today? That was just on my <coughs> mind today. <coughs> what are your thoughts? My Share thoughts, thoughts are my thoughts are that I really liked the Perry the Platypus design that I saw. It was really good and I yeah. was like, wow, that is Perry Did he the look Platypus. Like no. Uh yeah, that's a shame. he I mean he had kind of a James Bond thing going, which yeah. makes sense. That's like his because yeah. Character arc. Yeah, that's, you know, what he's definitely inspired by. Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, he's not inspired by real platypuses. <laughs> Unless he is, I don't know. Yeah, I, uh, I, guess, <clears throat> I guess not. I don't know. Real platypi. I don't know, Perry. They're not that teal color. No? Right? No? Are they not? As far as I know, they're not. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. anyway. I don't know anything about platypus, but they're definitely not teal. Anyway, could you imagine your dad marries, um, oh, well, I guess in that, in that instance, he wouldn't be a platypus anymore. But, like, what if in this story, uh, I mean, obviously, Perry the Platypus at one point was a platypus, so could you imagine, like, for Vanessa, Doofenshmirtz's daughter, finding out that your dad's arch nemesis has become a human, and now your, your stepdad is gonna be... Like a guy that used to be a platypus. Yeah, that's pretty good. Anyway, this is high quality content. Uh, Listen, you're welcome, everybody. Uh, what would you do without us? Everything that I have Not described, this. I will acknowledge out loud that everything I have described is very cursed. I I, I do think that would Oops. be I do think it would be pretty uh pretty cursed. Oh, whoops. Where's Mumbo? Where's Mumbo? <laughs> Found him. Uh, I found Mumbo. Anyway, Dr. Doofenshmirtz is like the best dad. That's what I've been hearing. Tell me about Dr. Doofenshmirtz, Santa. Well, okay, so the first example that comes to mind is <clears> that <throat> um, there's an episode 
uh, Phineas and Ferb where Dr. D- Dr. Doofenshmirtz finds some sort of um, rare little collectible doll thing okay. um, and he buys it immediately and it shows him giving it to his daughter who's like a young adult now she's she's, like teenager. she's a teenager yeah late teens yeah late teens and he's like oh my gosh i finally found this doll and she goes oh are you talking this this doll this thing that i wanted when i was like seven i can't believe you remembered that and he said i never stopped looking <laughs> anyway that's she's just... a grown af woman yeah and woman. He just, oh, that's just the <coughs> first example that comes to mind if there are any other examples that's uh, awesome. that people I can do, think I do of have to say oh that's it's pretty cute it's very wholesome and also we know that he and his ex-wife are like it's too hot for Aww. Bobby. i need some shade please help me free we him will. i'll free you <clears throat> Yay. He's so happy. Here is your reward, Bear. Gobi's off to cool down. Goodbye. That's exactly right. That's how you say his name. Ba-dum, ba-dum, Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Tristan. I thought I would. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Man. Oh my gosh. Okay. Before I forget, I have to. Um. I have to correct. A statement that I made in our last episode. What do you mean? What did you say? What did you say that was wrong? (laughs) Surely nothing. In our last episode, when Tristan and I were discussing fall damage in video games, I described a level, a um, a mission in Sly 2: Band of Thieves, where Sly jumps out of a helicopter and fills up a special backpack with some sort of natural gas and then drops onto the engine of a train to blow it up. Uh, I was wrong. Uh, Are you about a Sly Cooper thing? Yes, so I just want to correct myself because I was, um, when I was making a thumbnail for the last episode, I heard that audio and I, I totally caught myself. I, it's not the engine of the train that he lands on. He lands on the caboose of the train because the like doors to the caboose are like bolted down. The the like door on the roof of the caboose is, is bolted. Yeah. And he uses the fancy backpack thing to blow those up so that in a in one of the following missions, they're able to break into the trains. Honestly, thank goodness he said something. Yeah, so I know <clears throat> anyone here who's a Sly fan heard me say that and Cringed totally knew and died inside. Totally knew that, yeah, that I was wrong about that and uh, didn't say anything. Now you know. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm embarrassed you guys didn't say anything. And uh, should have known. <laughs> at the time, Oops. at the time we're recording this episode, I had not been corrected by anyone but myself. But I'm sure that if someone mentions in the comments on that video, um, <coughs> I'm, I'm sure. Uh, You'll be embarrassed. Yeah, I'll I'll be plenty embarrassed. Don't you worry. I'll be plenty embarrassed for the both of us. Thank you. Yeah. I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. These um, funky little bear statues. <coughs> yeah, they're um, sphinx-looking things. Uh, his little snout uh, reminds me of Goofy. Yeah. He he's yeah, got he's got Goofy's snout. So well, he has Banjo's snout. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Banjo it's, has Goofy's snout basically. Banjo does. It's so true. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sure Goofy is not the only character that has ever used uh, or had a snout design like that. No, I'm sure he is. But boy, if it is <laughs> iconic. To yeah. Oh. oh. We'll come back to that in a second. Oh. It's gonna. It's a race. You gotta be so fast. <laughs> you gotta be so fast. Gloom hands. Yeah. What did you think? What do you think of him? You think he's cool? I think he's cool. I think he's gloomy. <laughs> what? <laughs> there are bees. Yes. All I right. Saw so the bees. I. So Gobi's Valley is uh, an excellent example, in my opinion, of good music and sound design. <laughs> Yeah. Or at least music design. It's it's one of the first... <gasps> no, I, I can't say that because I love all of the music on all of the worlds for the most part. But this, <laughs> this music gets stuck in my head. 
oh, really easily. Oh, I see what you're saying. <clears throat> specifically, Gobi's Valley. Like, take a listen for a second here. Okay, yeah, you know yes, I, I absolutely know exactly what you're talking about. Because I whistle that all the time. It's true, it's true. <laughs> Listen, he absolutely does. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now you know exactly what it's from. Look at those <clears throat> spindly legs. <laughs> the legs are so spindly. It's, what are we supposed to do about these spindly legs? I definitely have memories as a kid of... Uh, I, I'm I'm a th thin person and I've pretty much always been so as a child I have memories of my mom teasing me a little bit and yeah. saying Weird. I have bird legs, bird legs. <laughs> it was I, I know I know nobody nobody come after my mom for that it was always said in like good spirit and I was always very <laughs> aware that she was teasing me so nobody nobody come after my mom for teasing me about that yes i was gonna say you you know what you do have in common with birds is you eat like one but that saying is wildly inaccurate it's true tell me about it hannah the people love to say you know she oh, she, eats like she eats like a bird to mean like they eat so little because <clears throat> people i guess have no idea just how much birds eat but a lot of birds specifically songbirds small birds um have to eat like a huge percent of their body weight a day yeah um and that's i don't know that's a lot Hannah does not so, do that. so i do not <clears throat> i do not eat like a bird and i'm fairly certain that there aren't many humans that can <laughs> no i'm sure the intention is like oh they peck at their food and oh, eat little yeah. bits at a time oh that makes more sense but also Taking like delicate little bites delicate little bites. but also like especially bigger bowl birds just like swallow their food whole like owls and there's yeah like owls ah. pelicans oh. seagulls yikes just swallow huge things entirely whole you know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, I've seen, uh, I think we've seen, like, we've all seen that um, thing of a, a seagull just swallowing a whole rabbit. <clears throat> it, what? A yeah, seagull? A, I think it was a seagull. Or some sort of bird of prey? Yeah, some, no, it was, it was either a seagull or a pelican, but I don't think it was a pelican, because pelican would make more sense. Wow, right? that's, I have seen a picture of a seagull, like, swallowing a starfish, and that was pretty disturbing. Oh my gosh, poor thing. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> or, um, any picture, basically, <clears throat> of, like, herons, once they've caught something. Herons. I forget what herons look like. They're they're waterfowl. Well, they're not fowl. They're they're a different kind. They're a different category of bird. Herons are not. Fowl is a category of bird. You didn't what? know that? No. Oh my gosh. What? Um. Yes. So not all birds are fowl. Fowl is a what? category, a taxonomical category of birds. So fowl. What? The word fowl itself refers <clears throat> to, I believe. Um, the family of birds comprising like chickens, turkeys, pheasants, um, guinea okay. hens, things like that. And then waterfowl specifically includes uh, most ducks and loons um, and birds like that. I'm a loon. Um, but uh, yeah, ducks, um, <coughs> loons, what, what geese, What's the difference between fowl and like something else? Uh, one smells foul. <laughs> no, um, off the top of my head, I <clears throat> I don't want to give like the wrong characteristics. I'm not exactly sure. As far as I know, foul. Um, they're all like primarily ground dwelling birds. Okay. But but that doesn't mean that every ground dwelling bird is foul. So that's not a good that's not a good uh example i'm not sure i'd have to read about it again that's fascinating i um, never knew yeah that yeah not all birds are foul i never knew G guys in the comments let us know if you knew <laughs> yeah um but yeah herons are not foul they're not waterfowl <clears throat> they're in a, a different family of birds that i conveniently don't remember which group it is wow that's upsetting yeah i know why was i talking about them oh because i saw um oh come on Oh, I don't even know how I would find it. I could probably do a 
a simple Google image search, but there was a picture of a heron that had caught like a snake. Oh. And so it was like trying to swallow the snake, but part of the snake was like wrapping around oh. it. It was pretty cool. That's funny. I, I feel Snake's like, fighting back. I feel <clears throat> like that picture probably won some sort of like Audubon photography thing, but Jeez. I don't know. I love seeing. It's hilarious. I love seeing those. Um, I, I sometimes nature fighting back against nature. Well, no, just um, nature photography posts about like oh, nature photography and various wildlife photography contests. Those are, are recommended to me sometimes, and man, that the world we live in, the natural world that we live in, is fascinating and beautiful and, and terrifying. terrifying. Mostly yeah. terrifying. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Depending on who you ask. Yep. <clears throat> So yeah, if you um, ask any prey animal, they'll tell you it's terrifying. And any predator, because <clears throat> of other um, herbivores that predators are afraid of. <laughs> like what? Hippos. Oh yeah, yeah. hippos are terrifying oh. for good re most uh, herbivores. Yeah. Bigger, I'll say bigger mm, herbivores. Yeah. Are, are terrifying. Because I don't, good reason. I don't necessarily think mice are terrifying. Terrifying. Oh, then again, no, I think but mice they can are omnivores. Crops. I think some mice are omnivores. Oh, that's a good. Like point. they might eat bugs. I think. I'm talking about wild mice, just so we're clear. Um. Yeah, we want to get. We don't want to get canceled for saying that. Uh, <laughs> Pet that mice. domestic mice can <coughs> eat, can eat insects. whatever they want. I am not an expert on des domesticated mice. Do not uh, follow whatever whatever I just said. Don't probably don't feed your mice bugs. Meat. Do the research. Do yeah, I have done? Take care of your pets yeah, properly, please. I properly. have done pretty extensive research on rabbits um, because I. <coughs> oh. Hello? Hello, my friend! I am Ruby! Can I be of some assistance? I don't know, can you? Ha 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 ha. Very good! I see some up there! It's yours if you can get it, yes? Thank you. <laughs> it's got a very insensitive character voice. Oh, I guess in so. The game. Oh, really? Like, oh, yeah. Like I'm glad you were talking loud enough that I, uh. No, you couldn't hear. Yeah, that I couldn't hear it. Um, you almost got it. Oh, come on. Oh! One more. Oh. Oh. Almost. Oh. Oh. Man, I'm like looking at this and like, huh. how did they code this? <laughs> how did they code this? Because the, the, the hitbox of the thing obviously moves. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. I had it, dude. That looked like it went in. It went in this time. Yay. A thousand thanks, my friend. His stuff will now help you with your quest. Cool. <laughs> that is a very strong snake. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what were we just talking about? I had something to say. Oh, that I'm very Meese. confident in my knowledge about rabbits. Yes, because you have one. Yes, and I wanted to be She's I want to be bean. a responsible rabbit owner. And so I've done many hours of research about rabbits. Yes. I can offer good. I can offer some limited advice on rabbit care. Um, but I've definitely talked about that on the channel before, so yes. don't worry. So we won't. Yeah. <laughs> we won't do that to you. Uh. <clears throat> I gotta go get some some more things. <laughs> I gotta go into this this ish whoa oh, whoa oops that oops, was oops. Th that was cool yeah gonna get this and i'm gonna go in here you're doing great i'm doing great thank you Ooh, oops. this is king sandy butt's doom turn back or face his wrath sandy butt sandy butt <clears throat> you choose not or chose not to heed our warning prepare to run you have chosen death you have chosen death Okay, there are some notes, I think, in this maze that I need to find. Okay. And there's, there's also this thing. Which is important that Ooh. I get. Nice! 
Yes. 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 Were there notes in that corner? Oh, no. I see over there. I think there's some over here, maybe. Woo! Oh gosh, I can't. Uh. I can make it. Watch. <clears throat> I know this maze like the back of my hand. Oh, they're gold feathers. All right. Uh, oh yeah. So, um, fun fact: if you uh, don't make it to the exit in time, you die. That's just the rules. I don't make. Oh. Them. Oh. It's instant death. That's one of few he... a few instant death places in this game. Wow. That's Hello? pretty scary. I know. Oh. <clears throat> I got a jingo. A a gingo. Ginkgo leaf. A ginkgo leaf. Good job. I'm in the pot. Proud of you. Right. Open. Thank you. Jeez. But um, but um, bum. Gulp. Nice. There's one more jiggy. Do you know where it is? Was there something is? in that other pot? Um. Something gold. I'll never know. Okay. <laughs> it, was, it was probably a feather. feather. Yeah, okay, it's not yeah. another jiggy. Or a note. No. Notes I know, are. I know where the rest of the notes are. Oh. Okay. Cool. And it does seem like they're not usually alone. Like no, they're in groups. They're, no, the last is a group of five, and I know exactly where it is. But first, okay. we gotta go over here. Okay. We gotta go see Gobi. He found some shade. Oh, good for him. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I walked in on you playing this part of the game, and it This tree me. looks a bit thirsty, but I need all of my water for myself. Drinker wants rain, I'm shriveling up. How's, How's your nuts, Spark Brain? What? What? No, I need water help! Anyway. Yeah, I, uh, Tristan was playing <laughs> this part of the game when I walked into the room and I saw him beat up the camel and. You're like, oh! Uh, yeah, I'm like, that's not nice. That's uncash money. And then he's yeah. got some, he's got a jiggy for me. We'll Bye. pick this up uh, next time. We'll finish this up real fast, though. Thank yeah. you all for being here. Uh, it's been a pleasure to play the game with you. I hope you're enjoying it as much as Tristan is because yeah. I love this game. <laughs> uh, it makes me happy inside. Yeah. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our uploads. And see you next we'll week. See ya. Bye.